In this video, we're going to test out whether I can replace my Esbit tabs with dollar store fire starters. If you're interested in finding out the results, keep watching. So I guess the first question that I need to answer is why would I even want to replace my Esbit tab with anything else? Well, the primary reason is cost. Right now, these Esbit tabs are costing me 88 cents a piece, and that's when I can get them. They have been difficult to find locally. I can go to my dollar store, Dollarama, anytime and pick these wood in, or these wax infused wood fire starters, and they're costing me 13 cents a piece. So that's a significant difference in cost, and they're always available to me. So why did I come up with this idea to do this test? Well, it came from a suggestion by a viewer who had been watching my video on the Bushcrafty Central micro stove where I had used these tablets or these wood fiber fire starters as a fuel inside the micro stove and they worked very well there. So the question was obvious. Well, why aren't you using them all the time to replace Esbit tabs? And I thought, <laughs> Actually, it's a good question. I guess it's been no secret in my videos. I'm not a fan of Esbit. My experience with them has been very poor. Um, maybe it's the standard I set for them, but and we'll talk more about that in a moment, but they, they just don't find they deliver the bang for buck that I'm looking for in some type of an alternative fuel. These, however, have been. I can tell you right now, well, spoiler alert, these are going to work, but the guess, the question is, is how much better are they, or if they are as good even, but you'll see that in a few minutes' time. So, let's talk about the test. I guess before we should do, I am going to mention I decided to throw in one more fire starter to see if it would, how it would perform, and that is the traditional zip cubes. Uh, they, they do well at starting fires, but as you'll see, they're smelly, they're smoky, they're sooty, but uh, let We'll throw it into the test anyway. So how is this test going to work? How am I going to do a comparison, a fair comparison? Uh, well, there are a whole lot of variables that I could take into consideration, but I'm going to try to isolate it down to as few variables as possible so that I don't run this video super long. So to start with, based on the suggestion made by the viewer, I'm all I'm going to use for a stove is the traditional Esbit folding stove, the one you can put some cubes in, the one that was designed for military use. I've used this a lot. It hasn't been my favorite stove to use, primarily because I don't like the performance of Esbit. Esbits work in these, but they don't work well, but this is the standard. Yes, I could have chose any number of stoves. Uh, one of the ones I know I like the performance of Esbit in, or at least it's a better performance, is the Simple Theory Gear pack stove from, um, well, Simple Theory Gear. Uh, we're not going to use that today. This is what most people have, or at least most people can find very inexpensively. So that's the stove we're going to use. I'm going to use my 500 milliliter two cup GSI Glacier cup and I cleaned it up just for you. So this cup usually sits very black and full of soot and I put it to a polish and I'm going to repolish it between tests because that'll be one of the variables we're looking for. So that's the cup and I do have a lid for it. Just a little aluminum foil windscreen. That's all this is and that's what I'm going to use. Yeah, so those are the equipment pieces that I'm going to use for this test. Now we're going to be going outdoors obviously to do this in a moment. It's running around 8 degrees Celsius so that's it's a nice early spring day. So that's the variable that I'll choose there. It may work better in warm weather, it may work worse in cold weather, but I'll try to control that variable. Uh, so what am I looking for in this test? Well, okay, first and foremost, will it bring two cups of water to a boil. And that's, and I say, will it? Uh, my experience has been with Esbit that it won't, at least won't on a consistent basis. And the reason I'm choosing that test, well, there's a couple of reasons, find my glasses here. There's a couple of reasons. First is, um, that's my standard for out in the woods when I'm trying to make sure that water has been sterilized through heat is two cups. Why two cups and not one cup? Most mountain house or similar freeze-dried meals like the Happy Yak, they require between one cup and two cups, more often than not, two cups of water. So it's just an easy standard to do comparisons with. In fact, this standard is bolstered by Esbit themselves who claim, let me find that here. They do make a claim, here it is, here's the claim. So what they're saying is one tablet, one uh, 14 gram tablet, will run time of 12 minutes and will bring two cups of water to a rolling boil or one pint as they put it on the side of the package. Um, that's the claim. I've never had it happen, but we'll try again today just for the test uh, foundation. So that's the test is boiling. Now the other test is runtime. 
how long will these tablets run? Because if it'll bring two cups of water to a boil in eight degree temperature and it runs longer, that should mean that I can boil water, two cups of water to a boil in colder temperatures. I know it's not, I'd have to test it in colder temperatures to prove that out. But that's part of the test is just run time for the cube until flame out. The third test is, what is it? do to the bottom of my cup. How badly, and I know they're all going to soot this up, there's no question they will. I guess it's just how badly will they soot it up. And the last uh, item that we'll put in the test is what do they smell like and how much smoke do they produce? Are they a really messy thing to use and any residue left over? I know that's actually three things in one. So the last will be smoke, smell, and residue. All right, simple test won't put this discussion to bed, but I think it will help people who are wondering, do I really need to buy those Esbit tablets? Okay, let's get outside and put this to the test. So for these tests, I haven't gone out into the woods or anything. This is just a back air test in my little testing station that I have here. A bit breezy here in Halifax today, but like I said, around 18 degrees, or 18, I wish, 8 degrees Celsius on this mid-March day. So I have my Esbit tablet out of the package. Let's put it into the stove. Now I do have to put the stove into that semi-closed position for these tests because of uh, uh, the width of the GSI cup. So that's fine. It'll be the same for all the tests. Let's get this thing lit. Now for timing and boil time, I'm just going to be using my cell phone and the timer on it. Nothing, no uh, temperature probes or anything else. So yes, a little less than scientific. And what am I looking for? Just a rolling boil. That's all I'm looking for. I'm not going to measure exactly when it gets to. So I am going to put the cup on right away so that I can get as much of the footage going as possible, starting the timer. And that is the benefit of these Esbit tabs. They light up quickly and they stay lit and they do run hot. There's no question about it. So uh, I'm not going to run through potentially 12 minutes of runtime just to see uh, if it does, but I will let you know. First off, it, if it comes to a rolling boil, we'll look at that, and then uh, we'll see how long it takes before flame out. All right, bring it back in a few minutes. Okay, I brought you back just a, a minute early, and the reason is is because I can see, hopefully you can see as well, my Esbit tab is just about gone, and it is 10 minutes 29, se or 10 minutes 30 seconds, so very close to the time that they said it would last. But let's take a look at the water. It's close. It's close, but it's not rolling. We will continue to watch just to see if we can get to the time that we're looking for. But uh, I have my doubts it'll come to a rolling boil. If it does, then I'd be happy to say that. But my experience has been is that it won't come to the rolling boil. Let's take one quick look at the water. As you can see, the flame is just about to go. It's Actually, most of the heat is gone now. But let's just take a quick look at the water. It's actually fewer bubbles now, fewer bubbles now than there was a minute ago. And flame is not quite gone. Can I get any closer? Flame is not quite gone. All right, flame mode at 13 minutes 10 seconds, no rolling boil. Okay, uh, we'll reset up. I'm going to try the zip tab next and we'll end off with the dollar store. But the first thing I guess we want to look at is what does the bottom of the cup look like? So my hot water, but not boiling water, pour that out. No surprise, right? We've all the, Anyone who's used Esbit tabs knows that that does soot up. I mean, it's not terrible comes off fairly easy, but uh, that's what you can expect with an Esbit tab. How about smell? Well, I think somebody that I had watched or read kind of captured it correctly when they said fishy. Fishy, or like a fish oil smell. That's the best I can describe it as. Okay, let's set up and go for the zip tab. All right, just quickly before we set up to do the test with the zip tab, I had forgotten to look at residue. So, actually, that's pretty good. There's not much residue at all on the bottom of that plate. Uh, not enough that I'm going to worry about cleaning it out before, after the, or before we're using the zip tab. So I'll put the zip tab in.
light it up. Ooh, yeah, that lights up fast, doesn't it? Put my cup on. Look at the smoke. These were never known to be clean burning, were they? Get my stopwatch. And start. And there's no question, this is going to be messy. The question is, is will it bring the water to a boil? And stinky. Woo, smoky and stinky already. Uh, okay, bring it back if and when it brings the water to a boil and how long it takes. Okay, let's get set up for the last test using the Dollarama wood fiber and paraffin wax fire starter test. I, I have to tell you, it took me a long time to get the cup clean, the stove clean, the foil windbreaker clean, and still not really clean as you'll see when I put the cup on top, but that's as clean as I can make it. Folks, don't use those zip, to, zip cubes to as a fuel. They're as a fuel fire starter. I don't even like using them for that because they're so smelly and smoky. But as a fuel for boiling water, no. I, I just I included it in the test. Almost wished I hadn't now. All right, let's get this last one lit. Lights up. About the same amount of work to do it as it is with the... Uh, The um, Esbit tabs, let's get the cup on. Again, two cups of cold tap water. And start. So we're just uh, five minutes into this test with a single cube of the, the fire starter, the Dollarama fire starter. And I said before I started the test that I, spoiler alert, that I knew that this was going to work. I did, but I'll be honest, I did it with two cubes. And uh, so in this test, I'm just using one cube, really, just just to see what one cube can do. I know that two cubes will work. It'd be great if one cube would work, but uh, I'm not convinced it will, so that's part of the test. I'll tell you what I'll do, just to avoid having to do yet another test after this one. If this test is, or this cube is run out, or very close to being run out, before the water comes to a boil, then I'm going to put in the second cube, but uh, just to see what'll happen. Well, I know what will happen. It'll come to a boil, but let's see. Actually, the water's getting hot already. It may work with one cube. Uh, if it takes two cubes, and you, see, you can see they're not big cubes. or an inch and a big square and not quite a half an inch thick. If I have to use two of them, well, double 13 cents is only 26 cents, and that's still much cheaper than 88 cents for an Esbit tab. It's smoky. It's not anywhere near as smoky as the Esbit tablet is, but it is more smoky, or sorry, not Esbit, anywhere smoky as the Zip Cube was. That was smoky, there's no question. It is, uh, there's no smell, no smell that I can detect right now, but it is smoky. It is, yeah, so it's not as clean burning as the Esbit tab is, but I can tolerate some sootiness. It's just about a matter of how hard it is to get off of my my gear, uh, at least the loose soot. I'm not usually too worried about the, the baked on soot, but the loose soot. And, you know, I guess that's part of what we'll see at the end of this, is just how messy the pot is from this. I suspect it will be sooty. Uh, you know, I don't know how it can avoid being sooty. And, uh, yeah, so we'll let this run a little longer. If it looks like it's going to run out before the water comes to a boil, I'll bring it back, but I'll bring it back in any, any, either way. So I am at 11 minutes, 30 seconds into the test of one cube of the Dollarama fire starter. My water is actually closer to a boil than it was with the Esbit tab, but I don't think it's going to with what's left on that tab. Actually, I think I just went flame out. So I am going to add the second tab inside here. Probably should have did that before it went out. Taking a little longer to light. Oh, there we go. That's better. Put this on. The clock is still running. So I know this will come to a boil with this tab. It's just a matter of how much longer. Okay. Hard rolling boil. Time now is just 16 minutes even. And I think it was actually rolling for a couple seconds before I turned the camera back on. I'm going to set it down just to show you how much is left of the cube. 
but I don't think I'm going to wait until that completely runs out. So 16 minutes, I think if I had started with two cubes, it would have come, well, my other tests had it coming in a little bit faster because, of course, there'd be more flame in a shorter period of time. But that's a hard rolling boil in 16 minutes after adding a second cube to the one that had just burned out. Okay, that's enough for the purpose of this test, as unscientific as it was. Uh, let's uh, wrap up with a few closing thoughts. Okay, so did the dollar store fire starter perform any better than the ESBIT tab did? Well, before we go into the results of those tests, let's just talk about the ESBIT tab for a moment. So in fairness to ESBIT, in fairness to ESBIT, it did bring the water to a near boil. And a near boil, as you saw, there were bubbles on the bottom and a few of them are rising. So part of the question is, is what did ESBIT have as a standard for calling it a rolling boil? 212 degrees Fahrenheit. That's my standard. That's what a rolling boil usually occurs at. Um, was the water safe to drink? If I had used this ASBIT tab and water from a stream when and came with the results that you saw on that test, could I have considered that water safe to, to drink? Probably. I say probably. I wouldn't be convinced of it. That's the reason why, of course, I like a rolling boil. I say probably because Water does not have to come to a rolling boil to be safe, but it does have to come close and it does have to be at that higher temperature for a little longer that way. So it likely would have worked. Now, again, in fairness, if you start out with clean water and all you're looking to do is make it hot enough to rehydrate your meal or make a coffee or tea, as the tabs are just fine. As you saw, they are cleaner than the dollar store tabs are. Uh, they burn about the same length of time, pretty close in, in any case. Um, oh, first off, zip. If you're thinking about using zip cubes as a fuel, don't. Just don't. They are so messy and so hard to clean up that they're not worth it. And it didn't bring the water to a boil. It really was no better than the ESPA tab in that fashion. Okay, but the question is, did the dollar store fire starter work? Yes and no. As you saw, one tab of the fire starter came close to bringing the water to a boil, about the same as one tab of ESPID, but it didn't quite come to the rolling boil I was looking for. So I added a second one. If I had used both at the same time, I would have achieved a faster rolling boil without question with considerable amount of fuel left over. I might have even been able to do it with one and a half of one of these, and maybe I'll test that out someday. As it is, two of these at 26 cents combined as opposed to 88 cents for what I can, what I have to pay for these. Um, I'll use these. Even though they are dirtier than the ESPA tab, they're not that dirty. Certainly nowhere near as dirty as the zip tab was. Oh, there's another thought on ESPA I want to share with you, and this applies to the zip tabs as well. ESPA's come packaged in these plastic containers that are airtight sealed for a reason. The primary reason is to keep the air away from the hexamine or the esbit tab. Once they're exposed to the air, they start to degrade very quickly and they actually start to shrink and they lose whatever combustible components they have in them. The other reason they're in the plastic container is, is that they crush very easily. They turn to dust very quickly. So you have to be careful not to have these things crushed in your backpack and, uh, and uh, otherwise you'll have no fuel left to use. Same thing can be said of the Zip fire starter. It doesn't crush easy, but it does shrink incredibly fast once that little container is broken open. These are stable, totally stable. I can put this in my backpack and leave it there for a couple of years and come back and know that they, it hasn't reduced in size any or in combustibility or, or value at all. Uh, you know, th that makes these a better item to have for that purpose. Uh, what else can I say? The the smoke and the, well, they, they were smoky again, more so than the Esbit, but not nowhere near what the zip was. Smell wise, really, there's no smell at all. Actually, smelling them right now, there's a, a, some type of a, a perfume or some type of a smell put on these, so they don't smell bad. They actually smell kind of good. I wouldn't use it in the house, of course. If you don't want to use them for fuel, they still make a great fire starter to have in your backpack as a you know an emergency or maybe even a primary means of starting a fire. So do I like using these for fuel? I can't say I like using them, but they work. That's my I guess that's what I want to say. They do work as a fuel for boiling water, better than an Esbit tab. Is it something that you may want to switch to? I'll let you decide for yourself. Uh, you know what? Go out and buy some of these things and test them out for yourself. I think you'll like what it does. You may not like the mess, but you'll like the performance it gives you in terms of boil time. That's it. If you have any comments, 
about the video, what I could have done differently, and yes, I know it was way less than scientific. I could have added a whole lot of other variables. I just wanted to keep it kind of simple, but add any comments you have in the, in the show notes below or in the comment section, sorry. If you have any experiences with either of these, comparing them one against the other, I'd be interested in hearing what you have to say. If you have any suggestions for future videos, put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.